Good evening and welcome to the midweek check-in and reflection time. We're so glad that you are here this evening. My name's Lisa and it's my joy to lead us through this time. Uh, please let us know that you're here by leaving a comment in the chat. Feel free to use the thumbs up and the smiley faces and the hearts. Feel free to interact. This is an interactive time and so uh, your comments and uh, your uh, insights are most welcome in our time together. Uh, tonight, uh, it's my joy to bring you a resource uh, that I really, really like. And um, my friend, Jennifer Wilhoyt, created it. Uh, she is um, the creator of uh, Cobble Works, uh, which you can find on Instagram and Facebook and uh, Etsy and she makes she makes these beautiful handmade little pockets and in the little pockets uh, are these little cards and so I'm gonna hold it up uh, these are uh, her reflection cards and they're just so wonderful you know it's, it's a little different than uh, the set of reflection questions I normally use, but, but they're so fantastic. And they not only have these wonderful pictures on the front, um, but they also have on the back these uh, beautiful and thoughtful explanations of each of the steps. So I wanted, wanted to show them to you because uh, she posted the most beautiful thing the other day, which is what I want to share with you this evening. And um, her two main characters, um, uh, I knew these characters before uh, they had names. And uh, we used to call, we used to call this little round, this little round one, the potato person. <laughs> <laughs> and the heart, but um, they now have names, and it's love and hope, love and hope, and you can see hope has a little tiny heart, and it, this is uh, befriending ourselves and the sacred, and uh, that's what we're going to talk about tonight, so good evening, Diane and Brenda, so nice to have you all with us this evening, happy Wednesday tea. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. So, I uh, follow follow Jen um, many many places, including Instagram, and she posted this most beautiful reflection on um, feeling disconnected from our true self. And I thought, man, that is how I feel right now. I I feel disconnected from my true self. Uh, there are times when I am just reacting rather than responding. Uh, there are times when it's hard to see a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, uh, you know, little things can just set me off. And, and maybe you're feeling that way too. Maybe, maybe you're just not feeling like you're connecting to your best self, being your best self. And so the fancy church word for this is desolation, desolation. And Jen uh, defines desolation as this, a disconnection to my true self and love in my daily life. And love, she has a capital L. And so that's how she refers to God, the divine. Uh, she refers to God as love, and the scriptures even say that. God is love. Those who abide in love abide in God, and God abides in them is, is a scripture. So again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read that definition because it's important. A disconnection to my true self and love in my daily life. And so we can feel disconnected from our, ourselves, and we can feel disconnected from God. And uh, there are four things that uh, she pointed out in what she wrote that could, that could be causing this. And so we're going to reflect through these four things to see if you're connecting with any of them. 
Uh, good evening, Christine and Stephen. Uh, good evening, Deb. So glad to have you here with us this evening. So, uh, the four things are self-doubt, procrastination, avoidance, and denial. So, have you been experiencing any of those recently? Self-doubt, procrastination, avoidance, and denial. So here's, here's what self-denial might look like. Um, we need to do something and we say to ourselves, this feels intimidating. I'm not sure I can really do this. Um, it may even be work that I am called to do and things that I long to do. But I have this self-doubt. I'm, I'm just not sure I can do it. So have, have you been struggling with that? Uh, for many of us, we've had to learn a lot of new things and um, Maybe you've thought, golly, I, I just don't know that I can do this. Maybe in um, awakening to racism and you're doing some, you're doing the work in uh, becoming uh, awake to all of the issues and, and uh, maybe you're just like, I'm not sure I can do this. Um, maybe you're having to learn something new for work. Uh, maybe as the pandemic goes on and on and on, uh, you're, you're wondering, I, I'm just not sure I can do this, right? So maybe you're feeling some self-doubt, and that's what's causing the disconnection between your true self uh, and you, and between God and you, between love and you. Um, maybe it's procrastination. Maybe that is where the disconnection is coming for you. Um, I can just put these off until tomorrow. One more day won't hurt, right? And maybe it's a uh, responsibility that you're putting off, um, something you want to do, something you need to do, but you are just kind of disconnecting from it, right? And it makes you feel disconnected from your true self. Maybe, maybe your rhythms, how are your rhythms right now? Your spiritual practice rhythms, uh, your rhythms of just how you make your way through the day. Are you putting things off that are normally a part of your daily rhythms? Uh, good evening, Cheryl. Yes, so glad you're here. So we've talked about self-doubt and we have talked about procrastination. And the third one is avoidance avoidance. It's a little different than procrastination. So let's talk about it a little bit. Have you found yourself saying stuff like, everybody's got stuff. I'm not supposed to be perfect. Plus, digging into all this will be just too hard, painful, and embarrassing. And so uh, this can be the avoidance of self-reflection. This can be uh, the avoidance of looking at what's really going on, what's going on below the surface. You know, if you think of like an iceberg and our behaviors and our words are above the surface, but our motivations and the why we do what we do is below, and we need to take a look at that, you know, because it could explain why 
I'm so angry. It could explain why uh, the little, a little thing might set me off. It, it could explain that. But if I'm avoiding doing the work, right, um, it could be contributing to me feeling disconnected from my true self and feeling disconnected from God, right? Um, yes, we all have stuff, but uh, it's good for us to look at our stuff. And so there are things about me that I know that are unhealthy. I know they are unhelpful. And I know they can be hurtful. So think, reflect on that for a moment. What, what about me can be unhealthy, unhelpful, and hurtful? Right? We don't, we don't need to be afraid to look at these things. It's, it's good for us to look at them. Uh, T is saying she's definitely finding life rhythm interruptions. Yes, yes. Good evening, Bill. We're glad you're here this evening. Alrighty, so we've talked about we're not connecting to our true self. We're not feeling like we're connecting from, to God. And so that could be due to self-doubt. That could be due to procrastination. That could be due to avoidance, right? Avoidance of self-reflection, looking at the things about me that are unhealthy, unhelpful, or hurtful. One more. The fourth one is denial. Denial. Well, that's other people. That isn't me, All right? Denial. Here's the way Jennifer puts it. I didn't create this system or write these laws, so I can't fix them, and that means I can't be part of the problem. It's just not my responsibility. And so this is, um, this is denying our part in uh, the greater good denying our uh, part in building community, in addressing um, systemic injustices and um, break things that are broken, right? Nope, not my problem. I didn't do it. Right. And, and that making ourselves an island, right? making ourselves an island uh, disconnects us from our true self and from God. It disconnects us from others, right? And so uh, denial is a river in Egypt. Yes, I know the old joke, but denial creates an island and islands aren't connected to the mainland. You know, you got to take a ferry to get there or a boat or, you know, it's about, uh, it's about bridge building, not disconnecting, right? We, we are part of a greater community and a greater good, and it's good. It's good. And so, which one of these are, is speaking you, to you this evening? or maybe more than one. Uh, Self-doubt, procrastination, avoidance, or denial. Uh, Jennifer writes this. She says, in big and small ways, these things show up often, even daily, and they make me feel separated from love and my true self and they definitely separate me from others. But, you know how I love that word, 
I love that word because it means, you know, here's the good news. Here's the thing that's going to change, right? But when I face them, see them, and notice that they're a hindrance to life, right? That's what self-reflection helps us do, right? It helps us notice what is hindering our life uh, right alongside noticing what is blessing our life, right? There's consolation and there's desolation. We're talking about desolation tonight, but right. So when I face them, see them and notice that they're a hindrance to life, I can say, hey, love, can you help me out? And love says, absolutely. And so when, when, we, when we notice, when we notice the self-doubt, the pro procrastination, the avoidance, the denial, when we notice it and we're like, ooh, <laughs> hey, God, can you help me out? Just love that. And God says, absolutely. Absolutely. Isn't that good news? It's good news, right? She goes on. Jen says, This makes the thing that was disconnecting me actually a doorway to connect to my true self and love and the world. Isn't that amazing? It's just amazing to me that, that through self-reflection, through attention through being awake to what's feeling like it's disconnecting us and turning and saying hey God can you help me with this it becomes a doorway to God it becomes a doorway to healing becomes a doorway to connecting with others, becomes a doorway to connecting with our true self. And so often, haven't we beaten ourselves up, right? Who's beaten themselves up over self-doubt, procrastination, avoidance, and denial? Ding, 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 me. I have absolutely beaten myself up. Have I tried to hide it from God? Yes. Have I tried to fix it on my own? Yes. But when I bring it into the light, when I bring it to God, then it becomes a doorway to the one who can bring healing to my life. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Uh, she goes on, and I love the way Jen writes. She said, it's pretty freaking cool that even the parts of me that feel worst, the most isolating, the most dysfunctional, the most desolate, can transform into a bridge, right? We talked about islands, and so, so by... Um, bringing these things to God, uh, it, it's the bridge, it's the doorway, it's the path, right? So, can transform into a bridge, a path forward, a connection, a doorway. It's just beautiful. And then she reminds us that God is always into rebirth, and reclamation and transformation. And, uh, and that's the good news for tonight, my friends. 
And so uh, Christine says uh, avoidance. Yeah, yeah. And so, so here's the invitation. Here's the invitation. The invitation is to look at where you're feeling disconnection. Where you're feeling disconnection from others, from God, from your true self. And, and is it self-doubt, procrastination, avoidance, or denial? And to offer it, to offer it to love instead of beating yourself up with it, right? Offer it to the one who brings light and healing and wholeness. And uh, I look forward to hearing uh, all that you're learning and sharing and growing through this practice, through this beautiful practice of self-reflection. And so uh, I would love to offer you a blessing uh, as we're closing our time together. God, you are love, and you are light, and you are goodness, and you are grace. And we thank you that we don't have to beat ourselves up and we don't have to heal ourselves all by ourselves. We thank you that you are there, ready to receive us just as we are, ready to receive us and to use those things we want to hide as a bridge, as a bridge to our true self, as a bridge to others and as a bridge to you. Help us to release these things we want to hide. Help us to bring them out into the light of your love. Help us to ask for help. We thank you that you are near and you are good. We thank you that your arms are open wide to receive us and to hold us and to help us. We love you and we bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.